Good okay? morning, how's it going? I'm, I'm yep. still recovering from the bad beats I took in Brussels. So, oh, uh, no. hi chat. <laughs> well, I don't think you have to finish this game. That was too much. Yeah, uh, you were losing by 8 or 9 points before losing that group in the middle. Yeah, yeah. You played you play yep, a few very I'm... fast moves in, uh, in the middle game. And I think... Now it's yeah, just I'm down by 9, right? Yeah. Now, now you're losing only by 9? Oh. Yeah, it says nine and a half. I thought you you lose by nine and a half before losing the group. Ah, okay. But then I came back a little bit with Uh huh. Uh -huh. Then you could have won by a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah. you just had to give a give up the two stones. Yeah, yep. this lower left I corner C eighteen was really big. Black could play in center also. D eighteen and connect and then mm -hmm. clamp. If you like, we can have a quick look at the beginning. Top right corner was a little bit uh, questionable. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, let's. Am I too loud? Get up the review. Maybe my microphone is. No, I. Is he too loud, you guys? Uh, let me see if I still have. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Okay. No, don't worry about it. I'll do it on my side. Oh, okay. Well, I can't do much about it anyway. Uh... I guess. Oh, my mic. My mic audio is a little too quiet too. That's strange. See. Okay. So yeah, go back. Let's go back to the, the Fuseki. In the top right corner, I think this pinky tricked you a little bit. So you're white, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's good. Well, nowadays people play Q15 and then Black will kick Q16, then you go up. So anyway, it's pretty much the same thing. But this feels strange for black to play Q16. Black should Q15 and gain yeah. more. And now the two space jump, you see some RG. It's good to extend like that right away, but later you gotta play 017 and pull back to see how uh, black reacts. So now black played Q7. Now, now okay. you can play 017. Go back a few moves. I mean this one. 017 so attach, yeah. Uh, black usually 018. Then you pull back, O16, and now Black has to decide whether to defend Q18 or no B N18. So either way, it leaves some margin in the corner. Because when Black plays Q18, gotcha. you have the Hane, N18, then Atari, then no Sesuji L17. And when Black plays N18 to get rid of the Atari around M17, you can play it. You can play uh -huh. the top. Then you have uh, Q17 attached in the corner. To reduce the corner, so either way is good for you. That's why normally black plays only one space jump, not two space jump. Okay. Gotcha. So anyway, go back to to the top. Uh, which one is it? The top finish or oh, the bottom? The wrong. No, one. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Uh, I never know, you know which, which finish is the right finish. It's the bottom yeah, finish. Yeah. I was the second one. I always pick the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, it happens to me. So, so yeah, yeah, oh, yeah right. instead of this schema, normally you can ignore completely. Uh, well, not completely, but just play J3. J3 or K4, K3. You don't even have to react locally. Okay. If you play a move like that, gotcha. later in the in the top right corner, there's a lot of edges, so you can enter with Q4, you can enter Q5. So you have all kind of moves to take away the corner. Actually, it's more interesting to play J3. Because if you play K3, black will push N2, and then you get a little over concentrate. So one to the left, yeah, three space jump. And on this move, you can ignore right now. And you can play on the left side, for example, C13. Usually it's good to decide oh, okay. which direction you want to attack that stone. And now black approaches the corner, probably like that, or three space jump. If that happens, uh, you can play, yeah, now you invade C8. Then black, oh, right away. Yeah, always. Okay. When it's three space jump, you invade because you want to uh, induce the corner defense actively. So black will jump out, e6, and you go f4. And that gives you a nice shape okay. with move number one in the top. Now black has to play either d9 or slide in the corner. Most of the time they slide okay. first and then, yeah, if this happens, if right, this happens okay. you either kick or you go down. 
Yeah, now, now you have two options actually. You can play 9 or 10. Those can be reversed. But this is also fine. You play 9, black plays 10, and then you play away your center. And now, well, you have all kind of big points, like that one. But actually here, go back to this 017 and pull back. Oh, go yeah, over okay. all that sequence. So you pull back, then Q18. No, try the other one. Oh, Q18. Q18. Oh, yeah. he defends. Then you have oh, the okay. Hane, N18. Mm -hmm. Cut. Atari on the first line, O19. Then connect. No Stisuji, L17. Black has to go down. And then you reinforce the corner, E17. Because already on the bottom, there's not much for Black to, to build. Okay. This looks pretty good. And now you have to do something about the right side, so an evasion at Q4 would be good when you take center again. Probably black will extend on the bottom or... Yeah, that, that would be a nice move for you. So let's say black goes I-17. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a, a good invasion point. How would you answer? black some honey, no oh, I would I would be so annoyed but I would probably go this way okay wait Hanatari Atari. ah this can happen okay maybe we need to prepare this invasion a little more but now now normally you honey p3 actually actually before you invade it is good to play q9 it helps more and here black will cut O three. Ah, oh, if that happens, yeah, okay. that's okay. You just connect. Uh, no, actually, you go out once. Yeah, yeah, you can extend once. He drops one way or the other. Then right? let's see oh, the no. letters. Because I want to cut at P five and then attack again. Or oh, wait a second. In this case, I guess you will just play p5 and sacrifice the two stones and separate at q7. So black will go out, then Atari q6 and go down. Atari again and then turn p7. Oh. Hane, Hane p7. Okay, okay. So let's see. L19 helps middle at the bottom here. L19. Oh, I forgot to put your contact information up. Sorry about that. Ah, that's fine. Well, later on with L19, well, you need to to take away those liberties. Actually, L18, and then there's a co-fight at M19, but that's a long shot. Normally, white simply goes up to L16. No, black will not play that one. Black will play hard on right, top. Right. But I mean, if some other scenarios happen, then it might end up in a co fight. But well, it's a long okay. sequence. So, anyway, in the top, what you have to remember is that you don't need that Kima 05. You better just play away yeah. and later try some invasion. And mm -hmm. I I knew that the Joseki was like a two space jump usually away from that Kima, like to the second line. But well, uh, my opponent tends to annoy me to death if I do to, that. Go back to that game. <laughs> Locally, you can also just block. You can play where black played move number two. But that, in that case, you don't want to invade the corner anymore. Right. Well, most of the time when you play that approach, the entry, black will simply protect the corner at P3. So now you can also block. Yeah, you can play that one. Then black will push. Then you know B will jump. No B, you have to. Oh, this no B, one. Yeah. That's a good move too, but after Nobi, uh, most of the time they don't play another move in the corner. I mean, you cannot expect, Not yeah, <clears throat> but you can fight this one. You can attack from the top, h4, then where black jumps, you also jump, and then again you think about some invasions in the corner at q5. No, no, no that move. <clears throat> Sorry, h3. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, oh, you right, gotta right. be on the third line. h3 or g3, yeah. And then jump out uh, N7. 
Okay. So black has uh, two weak stones in the top and also some problems in the corner. I see. So, but it's more interesting to jump all the way to J3 and then think about the edge in the corner. Let's see a few more moves from the actual game. Sure. You got a pretty good result here after all. So you turn. Yeah, that stone, it's not even that big. But you don't want to give Ponuke and descent. This is good. Right. Now here, uh, you play E3. You, you have mm -hmm. a Tetsuji to remove the base at F2. But you better protect the corner. Just play C3. Okay. Black will probably jump or push again in the corner. Maybe push, then you block. Then Black has to turn. Keep the pressure on the group. Right. Ah, oh, that's a nice empty triangle. Play that all the time. <laughs> just oh, I block yeah. and he turns, and then right? Connect. Yeah. And then black usually jumps g5. And then you okay. can attack uh, from c8. That, that group yeah. in the top still doesn't okay. look so good. Because you can peep once, f4, and then attack i5. Yeah, somewhere in there. No, after, he, after black he stands for a base. Let's say yeah. black plays c13, you go g17. Or game on the other way. Then black slides and we don't answer. Oh wait, G17, yeah. gotcha. Then black usually slides B16 here. And then you mm -hmm. can peep F4 and jump I5. Black connects here. Mm -hmm. And then you jump, one space jump. So you attack the group and make a nice box in the top. That way your wall looks good. Gotcha. So back, back to okay. the original game. You push a few times. Uh, well, yeah. that's possible too. And then you have the double Hane. And after double Hane, you don't have to connect. Wait, wait, wait. Now you should attack that weak stone. Just play C8. It's not such a big problem if black will cut and capture one stone. Sorry, C, okay. C8, not C7. Try to build more. Oh, right. So just play c8 and imagine black goes j3 and takes the stone. Oh, okay. Anyway, black is alive in that uh, in the top. So now you connect. Black captures one stone by playing Atari. Then you Atari from the outside. j4. Black connects. Your wall doesn't suffer. And then you attack again on the left side. You play c12. So you gain more attack in the left side than losing the j2 stone in the top. And your wall is fine. You can either uh, turn at N6 or capture the stone in the corner, so you don't have a problem there. So you connect it, yeah. but you have to connect solid. Connecting with the hanging connection leaves some pips. You should just connect the two. Oh, gotcha. I know this, this is a reflex move to connect, but sometimes you should consider to give up that stone. So remember okay. that. Just, just gotcha. you know, bait your opponent into going for something small. While you take two more <laughs> big points as well. Right, right. Gotcha. I know it's hard because you play too many reflex moves. Like the game before, you defended the top right corner where it was completely alive. Even two times you played Gote <laughs> inside. Once you played the neutral point, he could go at it and you connect and there's nothing. You already have the twice. Okay, so now Black All right. attacked, uh, approached the left side, right? Top left. Um, I think she played C6 or something. Yeah. Then you separate it, that's good, because you can evade. Uh, this peep helps white more than black. Mm -hmm. uh, that it's no need, black is already alive. That's a good move. Yep. And simply no be and connect. You could be a little more aggressive, but it's no need. Oh, wait, here. So you connect it under, in center, and now you should take away the extension on the left. Place C13. Oh, I see. So that's the yeah. direction for black I really should have. Or even that one, yeah. Oh, too far, yeah. Well, that one leaves an invasion, but okay, like that. Imagine he goes, or she in this case, on the bottom somewhere, I-17 or so, instead of defending the, the left. And now you just peep. The cut doesn't work because you have no leather or leather breaker. But right. No, not that peep, the other one. One ahead. This oh. one gives good shape. E9. Because when okay. E9 and black connects, 
black has a terrible shape, the empty triangle. And now you either no or jump or Kema, D11, one of these moves. Uh, E10, E11, or D11. Probably okay. D11 or yeah, something like that to keep protecting the group. So normally, mm-hmm. when you play a move like C13, black has to go up to make a shape with five instead of playing two. And then you have time to extend on the bottom also. So that's a, a good exchange for white. And actually, you still have a target there. The group is not completely live. And then you could kill the yeah, center I was, much easier. I was thinking about using this as a ladder breaker uh-huh. and then cutting immediately. But uh, oh, I see. yeah, it's much better to attack on the left, for sure. Yeah, but the thing is, when black extends, there will be no more ladder. Huh? Because exactly. That's, yeah. that's exactly what happened. It's Atari, and then she can go down in center to, to threaten the capture, and then she has Atari and the loose ladder. Yep. This is the actual game. Let's see a few moves. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, Sun Sun. That was brave. Here you can hunt and double hunt. Ah, uh, okay. What does she do? Let's check one variation with double hunt. There are usually like three sure. options. So here Black can go Atari and capture one stone. I mean, cut C14. Right. Mm-hmm. That's the, the basic pattern, and now you are Tarian take the two. Yep. But there's another variation here. You don't always don't always have to go for the two stones in the corner. After black cuts, no, this was all okay. Atari and take. Then you can Atari from the outside. Instead of this move number five, you play D14. Now when you play D14, oh. if black connects, that's even better for you to Atari and, and take the two stones. So this would be a mistake. Right. Black has to take right away. Right. Because this makes your wall even stronger. And then you attack again. C13. And our black usually connects. Then you push once. You go no B. Uh, black will link under. And you have the extension in place. So it's already ideal. Uh, that's an ugly move, actually. Better play uh, right. B. Yeah, that's take away Liberty. If she wants to cut the two stones mm-hmm. after. But you will sacrifice. And now you're center. You can play whatever. 017 and so on. And let's see the actual game. So you play no B, no B. That was also good. Well, you have this option of double honey, but uh, that's not so great. Yeah, you have right. this one, which is nice. But you don't have oh, to play it immediately. Okay. You can keep it a little bit as cautious because it's also removing your own liberty. And instead right. of that move, maybe it's more interesting to play D11. Because, again, you're looking at the cutting point of D9. Huh? And you also have a clamp, B11. Gotcha. But black will probably yep. push and block. Anyway, there are there's a lot of AG here with C18 and, and the double Hane and then cut and go down. But, okay, it's not such a big mistake or anything. It's also fine to turn. As it is okay. in the game, I mean. How is the ladder? Now, now it should work. Ah, that's no need. Too yeah, too slack. Usually here you want to jump, you want to play something like J15 just to increase the box. But can you cut now? Uh, D9. You should. Okay. There are no more ladders. So black will probably right. draw a line in the middle, playing D10 and D11. Uh, sorry, D, D10, E10 and all these moves. Keeps going out several times. And then try to reduce the bottom somehow. Maybe a peep. Yeah. yeah. First and but something like this. Well, or... that looks a bit desperate, but yeah. But you you can fight back actually, because you have a wall. You will jump between it F13 and so on. Different game. Right. But you build a lot in the top like this. Yeah. So you can win big. And let's see a little later in the game where you messed up. <laughs> keep going okay so this was slack and actually you know when you play a move like g16 and black goes d18 and you have to block and connect you need another move at f17 so it looks over concentrated you better go down mm-hmm. c18 or d18 quite early okay this okay. jump uh it's not even needed here okay this was some reflex moves here you got a cap g11 counter attack <clears throat> use your thickness 
Okay. I wasn't aggressive enough here. You were too, too yeah. kind against the pinky opponent. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Also on the right side, oh yeah, like, like that you just build 4 or 5 points when you answer F14. You better don't play anything. Mm -hmm. You better play a move like R8. Yeah, all these moves trying to build the center, you know, where you're already strong, is just, see, it seems slow. Gotcha. You're just increasing with a couple Basically of points. Like... And now you try to fight back. You, you can cut actually. Why you don't cut right away? F10. Mm. Nothing happens. Just cut immediately. Instead of pulling back, you can hunt it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you do this uh, and then extend to the right, she can't catch the stone. She can go Atari one way or the other, but that's it. Not much. Okay. So that's a good fight for you. Yep. But you pull back, black connected, and then on the right side, at some point, black played R10, and you should cover Q10, just to take center and keep uh, the pressure. Oh, okay. Interesting question here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. here. You, you can play R10. Q10. Because when you block R11, black will push and start building on the right. When you play Q10, she needs to go back uh, R9, and then you just leave it like this. And you play away. Some jump in the middle, like j10 or something so this is the way to to keep center i think you finish center this sequence anyway when you block r11 but black also managed to mm -hmm. build more points than she was supposed to gotcha so, so go back a few more moves i mean the actual game now fast right, forward right. so you had this block and han and double han very good then she played the honey. Good, you didn't get tricked here. The jump is the right move. Then black played okay. this one. Atari was center. All fine. And now, oh, okay. This is a peep at the cutting point. You can also cut that stone if you want. But okay, mm -hmm. it's like a few extra points. So maybe it's better like this. Because you can increase more. And now you should, ah, you actually jump J7 here. The turn was also okay. Oh, yeah, this yeah. was good. Black and oh, okay, black did. Mm, that's minus. You better uh, take the stone in the corner. Yeah, I was, I was looking at isolating this group, and I just couldn't uh, read it all the way. I thought no, it doesn't work. This were all minus. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. I see what you tried. Very <laughs> ambitious, but no, you, you better take the stone in the corner. Actually, after you played Atari and you went down in the actual game, you should take P2 in center. It's good enough. It's already a profit. Because you capture that one and black okay. needs to play inside one more time. So black will Atari and then black also needs R3. Or else you cut. Oh, yeah. okay. And then that's it. You just jump in the center. Uh, K. Or you cut. You can cut this stone, J13. Or that one, yeah. Something okay. around there. So how is the score now? Let's see. White plus 12. Mm, mm -hmm. Comfortable. But it's important to get uh, C18 before she does. This is super okay. big. And later when yeah. she played Atari on two stones, you should just costume in the middle, give up the two stones, play C18, and probably win by a few points. Yeah, that's exactly... That was... That was game yeah. losing. <laughs> okay, start a new one. Free game. Right. Side yep. mode. How are you doing against the two, you know? I'm More doing business. okay. Um, it depends on the day. Mm, it's okay. It's solid. So you're a stable 2Q for now. And on the other server? Yeah, exactly. One done already. Taijam. Taijam, I'm 1Q, um, and then I'm 4Q on IGS. Oh, I just went up finally. No more yes, 6Q. Finally. 6Q days are left behind. Huh? <laughs> right. Good. have a game if they'll take I, I played two games earlier on I just in the internet war amateur go championship or something like that. the EWAG and so far oh, so nice. good but I, I played like five done and six done Japan and Vietnam they were nice they resigned <laughs> uh, let me find you I'm wait this so, game as well. Let's put the coordinates on. 
Oh yeah, I need to put my coordinates on as well. This black wanted to play some kind of uh, Chinese Fuseki, but he missed the uh, middle side extension. It was supposed to be C9. Okay, now I see Ooh. that black goes for Moyo. Anyway, invade the corner. Ah, or, or that one. Oh. That's good. <laughs> That's fine. Hmm. This Joseki keeps going up, right? Uh, well, not too many times. I still want to evade the corner. <laughs> right. Well, if you build the board like this, you take all the bottom and he takes the rest of the board. But okay, that's just a dream for black. Maybe you lose. <laughs> yeah. There's still an invasion point at like C12, actually, if I remember. Actually, on the left lucky. side, you can now invade C... You can attach C16. Oh, interesting move. This one actually leaves a gap. That I thirteen, but don't play it right away. Right, okay. In fact, I will still evade Sun Sun here. C seventeen. Okay. And usually when you play against uh, Chinese like uh Sun and Sei, nowadays it's interesting to play the attached D four. But here because he already played the extension too far from the corner, you can still approach at C five. Oh another extension. Really? Hang on, that's interesting. Before you play the left side, go e16 first. Creates a cutting point and what is this? Which e... and now well, you don't have to allow black get the shimari in the top left corner. But the bots usually here they like to go d4 attach, and I've seen that in in some of the Redmond videos on YouTube. Oh. You can try that move. Let's see yeah. how it goes. Yeah, I don't know how this works at all. Normally, you go D5 or you go C5. But then you have less space to set up a base on the left side. When you play the attach, yeah, you will hunt it one way or the other. Of course, we have to check for ladders. And I see there is no ladder. If you go hunt a C5, he can attack, you go out and he connects. And then when you try the ladder, it's broken by J12. So play Han at the other side, uh, in the top, E3. Okay. Is this ladder broken? I'll have too? to learn this one. Anyway, we'll make some bucky later. In this <laughs> position, usually, black just connects, yeah. And then you can connect also. E, yeah. And now black extends on the left side, or Hane, D5. You push once and then extend in the top. So you can say the invasion is quite successful. Now in this case, we're going to play Hane on the left side, c5. Okay. Keep him low. Now maybe he's brave and he cuts. No, he's not that brave. Just no B. Stay ahead. Black will push one more time. But here, you don't have to no B right away. Even that it feels good, we're going to attach first G4, and then okay, and then Hane. H5 to make black over constantly the top, and your shape looks even much better now. Uh, wait. Now play a hanging connection G6. I'm pretty sure he will Atari, and then we block with Atari Ko. Oh, Hanging. That, oh that wow, okay, shape. yeah. Compared to just connecting solid. I would be scared to play this way. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> like, Black's just gonna cut straight through me. And... No, he doesn't. <laughs> now I'll play Hane. Right. And then he'll double Hane. And you can Atari once, cut uh, C8. And then extend. Go up. Mm -hmm. Yep. The ship is good. When black plays Atari in the top, you block with Atari. And that's the kind of call. Okay, that was center. So the center disappeared. Um, let's look all over the board. I would play a clamp in the top to see how he reacts to G2. G2. 
She numbered. Yeah, on the second line. To, to make him oh, happy. Okay. If he blocks, you go Atari and you leave it like that. If he pulls back already, that's a good exchange. So it gains mm -hmm. something. Ah, we're back to this. Now the Atari, the one I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And then we need a threat. Oh, okay, and capture the stone. So this maneuver didn't help him at all. Okay, now you're kind of center. And you can actually attack the top at M3. So you see his shape is super over concentrated. I see. You learn some sophisticated stuff today. Yeah, <laughs> that is that is kinda next level. Good, remember it. Now let's play a pincer, Q8. Usually you play Q4. But right. let's change something today. Then he needs to go, oh, that's wrong. Now you can also play Q4. So instead of playing Q4 and allow the extension to space away, you got to mm -hmm. pincer him and he's on the run. He messed up. He was supposed to play the attach and cross cut and try to fix a base. So. Okay. Uh huh. Counter attack. Play Q12. That stone is hard to catch now. Because you're strong. Oh, wow. Okay. And yeah. you build a lot on the right side now, probably, on the bottom. And now if he tries to catch you with P9, you can push and go on the second line and then you connect up or down. You learn another combination. Oh, interesting idea. And we can leave it like this. Now we should do something about the left side. Uh, how about cut him once at D15? I just want to see how he fights here. I think he will try to save the two stones. Yeah, probably. And keeps going on the third line, and then there are the, the, the cuts at G14, and... Oh, okay. Maybe he wants to sacrifice. Atari connect. Mm -hmm. But it's also good to sacrifice. Okay. Go, Novi. I mean, it's good for white. Mm -hmm. to capture those. Now Kosumi on the third line, Kosumi took a C13. He needs to play C14 or maybe B14. But B14 leaves other RG. Ah, okay. Now let's see. We wanna be brave or or smart. <laughs> <laughs> Brave or smart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Play, play uh, came out, uh, F13. Oh, that came out. Okay. Yeah, because uh -huh. if he tries to fight too much here, maybe you get some other center moves in, in this area and you cut him. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hang on. Just G... G16, you want to play? That's my instinct. Yeah, yeah. okay, it's good. All right. He will bamboo. Mm -hmm. But then we have a good move here. Now play Kosumi D12. Because if he doesn't answer, Johanna on the left side at B12. Oh, okay. Looks fancy, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's sneaky. It's <laughs> a little sneaky, too. Well, because it looks like I'm. Like over concentrating and not doing and anything, actually, but it's actually yeah. an attack. He knows. He noticed the plan. And then you should jump. Well, you want to keep this I 13 cut available, but you just want to go out with the group. So maybe just age 12 uh, Kema. Okay. Otherwise, you could jump towards the left around F10 or so. But anyway, his group does nothing. And now came uh, F, F9. Okay. Yeah. And then we target the group in the middle. Uh huh. So he's Moyo. It's now second line territory on the left side. And a heavy group in the middle. Right. So D15, when we cut. He was supposed to sacrifice the two stones to stay safe. 
mm -hmm. and then jump again in the center. Is that... Oh, well, let's pay attention. Tari. I mean, cut first, or Hane, or Nopi. Ah, you should cut first, E10. Because when black cuts, black is already in an empty triangle. But then, let's see. You don't want to lose any of these uh, F13 stones, they are keystones to keep the pressure on J12. Mm -hmm. Ah, interesting. Uh, cut. F11. Yeah. Awesome. Make some noise then. Yep. And then go out. Well, it's not a big problem if you get separated because the top is already alive with those two eyes mm -hmm. that combination with the core and so on. Capture the stone, so D11. Because now when he plays the cut and you connect on the Hoshi, he has an empty triangle and he needs to do something, otherwise you capture him using the Atari. So just connect. Yep. He might go Atari, Atari and so on. But let's see. He needs to go back. Yeah. And then uh, we go out with Kosumi I-11. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, he wants one stone. Uh, we give him one stone. But before then, play G G11. Let him have that stone. Just make your group strong. And then we should use the Ajo on the right side, that Q8, in order to separate the center. Only sneaky plans today. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we, we made noise on the right to kill the left. Uh -huh. hmm. uh, glorious Cow, these are He's free games playing... um, in Psy mode. Just some some viewers are a little bit newer, so we oh, yeah. make sure that they're free games, so it doesn't hurt anyone drank, and it's for teaching purposes mainly. Right. Um, I like to I like to parallel uh, it to what Batsko does with his basic series, where he he plays much weaker opponents, and he actually uh -huh. doesn't play free games; he plays uh, ranked games with them. Oh, so, interesting. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> so we're trying to do as little damage and do as much good as possible yeah. um, while teaching the community about Go. So here, just want to you, put you that out there. You go out with your I-11 group first. But how to? In a way to be active. And use the edge of that uh, stone on the left. Yeah, I could Atari or no, I could no just attach, attach it. Just attach, I, yeah. Yeah. attach is good. I and know. later we use some yeah. Atari, we see. I like this guy, he played four moves in diagonal in the middle. He's good at that game. Go Moku. He can make five <laughs> in a row and then die with everything. But he doesn't need to die actually, because you build a lot on the bottom, only attacking. And here, uh, no B to the right. And then you have Italian cut or other combinations, we'll see, or just extend. Ah, he took that stone after all. So, uh, turn once. J to be even stronger in the middle. Okay. Ah, we could also play Atari once. But this is good for you, because you play the bamboo connection. And then he has a cutting point issue. He can try to cut you, but it's no big deal, you make life there. So on the right side, you gotta use that Q8. Ah, he's trying anyway, huh? Okay, then connect I12. Mm -hmm. This guy will die while trying to kill you. I have a feeling. No, he doesn't try to cut you. So, uh, play a peep first. 
J14. Okay. And then you can turn and there is no more cut. I mean, you play H13, so you connect in center. And then when right. Atari, you just connect and it's fine. And now, we got to use that Q8. So normally with Q8, you might think of like three options. Cut one way or the other, R7, R9, mm -hmm. or just push Q9 and cover and do the double hand and everything. So you can set up a wall, but actually right. you're looking at the center group. Let's do that. So Q2 just the... Uh... The push yeah, this way, cover. yeah. So you always have to adapt your play according to the position. And this is what the mm -hmm. position requires now. At least that's what I think. I mean it's also easy to, to follow this kind of judgment. He doesn't agree. He wants to right. fight back, huh? He wants to go P ten maybe. But then you turn and then you jump between the groups. No, he doesn't. Okay, cover, press him down, so we attack the east to kill the west, that's the plan. And now Kosumi, I mean, connect P11. He's actually still in trouble here. Because on the right side he's extremely low, and maybe not even alive. And in the middle he has to do something. So how are we doing on territory? Oh, he wants that. Okay. Let's see. You can sacrifice the two stones. To get even stronger. Just, but if you, uh, if you want to, become, if you want to play a little more uh, active, you can also play P7 and then capture. But I, I would sacrifice 9 08 Because anyway, he played under already on the second line. So if he plays on the fourth line, those stones, they don't have such a big value. And I'll try again. And then target his middle. Now you're strong everywhere. So we prepare a lot. Target that center group in order to build a bottom, a huge bottom side, and eventually kill him. Right. But you have to think where he should go to to try to live. Yeah, I was looking at playing something like L14, but then he can kind of push me around a little bit. Um, he's gonna Which try one? to F? play L12 for an eye. Yeah, oh uh, wait, L L15 you said? Ah, or L12. Yeah, I was looking uh -huh. at like, yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Um, one of those two? <laughs> yeah, play any. Okay, I have to let okay. you make some mistakes. I let you make, make a lot of mistakes in the game before. Because I, <laughs> I was watching <laughs> Silent Mode. <laughs> and now you're not making too many obvious mistakes. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, from now on, you can make as many mistakes you wish because you're 100 points ahead. Uh, <laughs> so th the thing is, like, I make so many mistakes, like in my normal games. At least one game for me. So this make is mistakes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so this guy is aggressive. He's in trouble with the dragon, and he's the one invading. Brave. Punish. Okay, from now on, I don't suggest any. Uh... Oh no, pressure. Oh, okay, on. I thought you would separate. I was thinking I, I of M14. M fourteen. M M thirteen. M fourteen is what I was that thinking. Was good. But this is also fine. It keeps the territory is baseless. All right, I guess I'm still gonna play it then. Yeah, good. Keep him separated at all times. Now, keeping without the base, yeah. so where to go? Right there. Good shape. Also protect some cutting points. And then if he clamps, I can drop down and turn either direction. Yeah, if he clamps, 017, wait. You should just block the corner. Let him have one. Oh, okay. You got it. It's usually one eye when he captures one stone. Mm, he doesn't capture it. Uh oh. He tried to kill these two. Go out. On the second line. If yeah. he will take that stone, then he can extend left or right. <clears throat> and now wait. He will go down 018. And the thing is, you're a little bit vulnerable in the corner. So if you connect under with a turn, 
he can honey double honey so on. So you better play gotcha. you better play a nobi. The other one. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Well small mistake. This is also good. Okay, wait a second. I know you wanna play Atari, but Atari is not so great, so play the other nobi too. So yeah, I'm not suggesting any intersection. <laughs> No, it's no be. <laughs> no, it's it's okay. I mean, this is. Then, I am learning a yeah, lot just don't, from don't this. How so, you play yeah, a move here? Both things. How you play in this corner, not to allow another uh, an eye making. Yeah, I have to play uh, R seventeen yeah. and then Han A S. Yeah, and then when he pushes, you pull back once. Good. Yep. So you know this. You should. A took you level. Everybody does. Right. Except some people on Taijin. Now, for example, if you block, he turns, and then you cannot right. uh, force his eye anymore, so you gotta pull back. Mm -hmm. mm, I remember learning this kind of combination when I was like 6, 7Q, maybe. To jump on the second line, R17. Or maybe even earlier than that. Oh, that looks like a Tesuji. So what to do? I'm trying to decide if it works. Cut. Yeah, to L18 first. Yeah, I was thinking so. Because when he captures two stones, it's only one eye. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Oops. Keep throwing my phone. All right. So, yeah, capture the stone. Tari Tari. Good morning, Peyton. Connect. And now let's see what happens in the middle. Tari Tari. Capture this guy. Mm -hmm. And pay attention in the center. Black will probably try L14 to Suji. Can I suggest move for, moves for Black? <laughs> <Let's>... <laughs> don't let the chat push you around. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> mm. Now what? Uh, I think what? I can just connect. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, by the way, thanks for the new followers. Next week I should be uh, probably ready for some Twitch sessions. Maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll meet nice. my uh, uh, German uk student so we do a simon session in the afternoon here uh go up keep him separate yeah he? i was trying to figure out if there was anything <clears throat> with p14 if black played p14 oh. but i don't think there is if he attaches her desperately yeah well even if right. he makes one eye around o13 you can connect under m19 and he has to start the call and well, it's tough. Yep. We'll try that. Connect under. Keep safe. Oh, this no, one. no, no, okay. no, no. On the right side, Q14. Oh, All right. This one, it's, you know, just a, a way to take away his eye in case you need. But now, all of right. them, he can go down. Okay, it's good you made a mistake. Right. <laughs> That's what these people yeah. wanted. <laughs> but wait. So let's see here. Hmm. Keep safety first. Well, now you gotta leave somehow. Hmm. So try the corner, R18. Actually, now you're desperate and you gotta start the code O19, but first, exactly. let's take it slowly. Now it's an exciting huh. game. That's well, you still keep the middle, so even if you die here, oh okay. Now you can make life. Just play R19. Let him have the two stones. Okay. Make life. Protect your shit. That's <laughs> correct. Actually, you leave and then you play the wedge at O14 and cut him. K14. 
Keep your shit together is the right way, no? <laughs> so do you have any advice regarding getting mistakes out of the opponents without overplaying? Well, my opponents always make mistakes without me overplaying. <laughs> and, well, the way to induce them, it's... Uh, so play R15 here, Bamboo. <clears throat> right. Well, you play Calm. You, you give them the feeling that you're going to build a lot, so they panic anyway and they start playing uh, some shitty moves. Just make the I S18? No, 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 go down, S15. Four in line. S18 oh, is gotcha. two points, S15 is four points. Gotcha. <laughs> Thanks, Peyton. <laughs> yeah, but see, this first game that he reviewed, I played some very oh. overly protective moves, yeah. and he was like, "No, you need to, to put, you need to be more aggressive." To, to press the pedal. Uh, wait. Can you wedge and cut and kill, or is greedy? I'm looking at O14. Yeah, try try that oh, out. Oh, maybe. Yeah. And then you cut one way or the other. Yeah. So Black was lucky, but only for a little while. It's amazing how you gave him chance with this M19, and Black still mm -hmm. didn't profit. I'm I'm all about pe giving people chances. Nice guy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I lose my games too. So what happens here? Black, Black will, yeah, cut. Mm -hmm. Black will fight back a little bit, but then we need more preparation. Okay, hang on. Push, tari tari. Ah, uh, that's a pretty good move. Play, play the wedge, R13. Okay. And then he will double attack, you connect. B12, he needs to take the stone. And then we connect in the center. Oh, he doesn't care. Wait a moment. Park, park. Interesting decision. To die with everything. So now, yeah, he, he wants to connect everything together and die in peace and harmony. Ca capture Q13. Those three stones. Oh, okay. Yeah. The thing is, he will make some ice in the center now. <clears throat> but. Yeah, I will. Uh, sometimes next week I'll be more active. And also, we're going to, to start streaming on the European Go channel. But I don't know exactly what's the strategy with that channel. I'll know more on Tuesday evening. Uh, L10. So I will be probably stream both on my channel and uh, EGF official channel. But especially when there are some events. Right now in Europe, there's not much happening. After EGC, there will be very few tournaments. So push L11. Mm -hmm. My next tournament, I will probably play uh, end of September in uh, Dublin. That's a pretty interesting tournament to go there. Uh, push once, O12. Jeff Su, he likes streaming, I noticed. He was also at EGC with Steven. Okay, and then... Should I connect it? No, 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 10? that's chicken style. Play, play M7. <laughs> well, I will probably be, be away uh, two weekends this month. Ah, you, you could play M, M7, Kema. Well, yeah, that's oh, well. sorry. Well, Black will, will go out. <clears throat> but the moment I know exactly the schedule, I will announce it. Now that there are no more tournaments, I should be more active online. If you Hane, he cuts you, right? But anyway, Hane is good. Just... Yeah. 
We are hunting dragons and maybe dive after. Do you have enough territory already? Or how is? I think so. I have significantly more just, than. Then just more. connect solid and six. Probably okay. Black seems more everywhere. Black only has the left yeah. side, which is second line, not the yeah, more anymore. Oh. It says wait by 35. Hang on a second. This move is not necessarily that's, sent. That's a bad move, right? That's Well, not really bad, but it doesn't have to be sent. So, surround his dragon again. Play some move in the middle. Like... Okay. KM or something. Or that one. So this one, he can push and push and Atari, Atari. Then he dies. Oh, he can yeah. capture two stones. You could play L9 first. Uh, now block. Yep. Then block again. Ah, now he cannot take the two stones anymore. Because he will put himself in a tie. There's a little damage mm -hmm. somewhere here when you go up to L9. Gotcha. So, next week I intend to, to stream some of the tournament games I play on Pandanet. And probably some oh, of my nice. lessons. And go out here. Well, like that, I have an excuse. If I lose the games, it's because I'm distracted by the chat. Or they are just <laughs> simply stronger. Or they use bots. There are many excuses now when you play online. <laughs> Cheap ones. <laughs> yes. I'm sure I've used most you, of them. You used all of them? <laughs> now, push through. Yeah, they bring their Chinese teacher, some Shaolin <laughs> Titan. Yeah, everybody uses that. If not Lira, some other AI. But mostly Lira. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. Just I'll tell you on three stones first. Oh, yeah. Then again. And then maybe you don't. Ah, you need to connect, huh? Or you don't. I'm thinking mm, not to connect, so if... then you play N, uh, then you play N uh, 19. Well, 19, what does yeah. He play? Uh, so we kill him like that, really? No, you better connect the three stones. Yeah, might as well. Because then when you connect N19, there is no eye at all. And he can try some moves in the middle. Atari, Atari, connect, and so on, and then cut you O ten. 10 mm -hmm. Probably none of those will work. You're using a very uh, weak version of Lila, the, the Romanian version. Oh, wait, is this yeah, it? Black. Wait, push. No, uh, okay, okay, just block. I thought about taking the stone L16, and then if it goes down, you answer uh, H18. Oh, okay. But no need. Yeah, this feels easier. What a dragon. Chasing and killing the dragon. 136 points. Let's see if you can lose this one. Oof. What it takes to <laughs> mess this up. Okay, that's a sneaky one. He wants double Atari. Cheap trick. He could even go Nobi, but this is proper. And now he'll connect, you have to protect in the center. Then what? Ah, and you can even protect with a hanging connection. Threatening to cut the tail. There will be a very big tournament in Europe uh, early November, is the Silk Road. Okay, don't play Atari. If you play Atari, he will Atari from the outside. So just capture the stone in the top. Go out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you have Atari and net. Well, probably the kill is less important in this game. It's important that you learn the hanging connection to make eye shape. And the clamp, uh, G2, that's a Tesuji. And then... What he wants here? Connect. He just wants to. Cut. Yeah, just connect the two stones. Then you learn how to make life with four in a in a row on the first line. S15 instead of two points. 
Romanian Russia. broken Lila. <laughs> And I don't know what else. Ah, the invasion on the left side. That was interesting. With the cut and mm -hmm. all that uh, mess we did in the lower left. Oh, Atari just extended. Yep. And now you got rid of all the RG. This one, wait a second. Oh, that was sneaky. I can... You gotta play uh, Q11. Yep. Where opponent wants to play. Okay, now he can make an eye. Because we never played Atari, and then you can let him leave, let him play a 19, and in the meantime, you know what? Just, just um, pretend that you don't see how to kill this group, and go A1, A2. <laughs> he will take life, very happy, and then you kill the top, which is a smaller fish, Wait, but K K K2 came. K2, then gotcha. he will be like, oh, you didn't see a 19, so I captured two stones. I'm back to life with the dragon. <laughs> and then you go down in the top E2 and the top died. That's a small fish, a golden fish, not the big shark. Ah, okay. What? So wait, he doesn't want to... Why would he? <laughs> okay, okay, kill him. And 19. Yeah, good gravy. <laughs> Okay, we're not polite anymore. <laughs> we gave him one chance to make right. <laughs> and the guy didn't take it. <laughs> Daniel's face when <laughs> Cornell said to let him live. Turn, yeah. Turn left. <laughs> turn left. Okay. I'm yeah. not sure you need, but just to make sure you're all connected okay. and you don't mess up from here. Mm-hmm. He can do L14, really. And then we teach him some that. Oh, that's a problem. Because it's a snapback. Oh, he can leave. But I, I told you earlier we should. <laughs> yeah, this is funky. But wait a second. If you connect, he goes here, you Atari, he Atari. Uh, and then he takes the other stuff. Okay, let's go back to the kill in the top. So go down. Uh, e. Was that E2? Just play E2. Okay. Well, I told you we have to let him leave. But yeah. Wait, that doesn't work. It though, does, right? Because he can. Then you have, no. He, has a, he can, can attack first. N16 is center. Wait here. Uh, just capture the stone. Oh right. Take the stone. Okay. Don't don't turn. But it's fine. Okay. It's a snapback there. Mm -hmm. And now, oh, that was smart, but it doesn't work. So pull back, L2. He's got the call. Oh, okay. Now jump, I2. Hmm. No call. Wait, uh, connect J2. J2? Yeah. Oh, Because gotcha. then you fast the eye when he goes. Mm -hmm. And now fast... Oh, wait a second. No, go. You could, you could go down E1 first, but anyway, you can play E1. This one, you connect. Yeah, you're fine. Anyway, lots of interesting tactics this game. Cut or capture once? Capture the stone first. Yeah. And then cut him. Yeah, big call, but where and why? And just cut. I6. His top dragon, it's also pretty big. And that was a pretty good sumego. 
to push and force his eye and kill him uh, unconditionally. You should push once uh, D2. He can play that in center. Oh, some sneaky move. Now you die in the middle faster. No, you, you won't. I don't Just E. Yeah. Ah, he wants you to play many moves inside. But I have an idea. Oh no, we're fine. I do too. You see, you see that? I see G8. Yeah, exactly, and that's snap. And snap back. Good. But then you have a problem in the top left. And then you still have to play many moves inside. Um, hmm. Block this. Hmm. Take the two stones. So now we have to play many moves inside. Oh, that hurts. Well, the snapback would be nice, but probably you don't have to rush. Snapback. Capture this guy, G14, gives you some extra liberties to have those costs. Okay. And then go down in the top, E1. Start removing liberties like that. Mm -hmm. Then the other way, I1. And then L4, L3. So he's got one, two, three, four liberties. Now actually only three. You're fine, you can even play some endgame moves before, like B2. That's a huge one. B16. Kosumi R5, so he doesn't play it. And save one stone in the center and center K15. Mm -hmm. Alright, I let you uh, win this one and we probably you next Sunday. Okay. I gotta go. Sounds My great. girls wanna go out for dinner, so I better join them. All right, sounds All right. good. Thank you Thanks so much too. for the lesson. See you next weekend. Ciao, ciao. Yep. Bye. All right, everybody. And as I like to remind everyone, be sure to support Cornell um, on his channel, twitch.tv slash Cornellgo. Uh, yeah, his lessons are super valuable. And um, I certainly have learned a lot.